Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Mount Pleasant Farm. We are back in a tree this afternoon, and uh, I'm on the edge of uh, a field here at the Brandywine. And um, it's warm, it's like 80 degrees. I do have a thermocell on because I've got a swamp behind me, and these uh, skeeters are getting kind of crazy. So uh, we'll see. I don't have high hopes for tonight, but it's nice to be in a stand. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful evening. Hopefully I'll see some deer from here. And uh, let me show you a quick shot of what uh, what we're looking at here. I've really just got this one big shooting area here out into this field. Um, a lot of the other stuff has grown up over the last year. I didn't get a chance to do any trimming, so this is all pretty much a loss right here. Like I said, I can shoot out in front of me here. I got a max of about a 20 yard shot out there into that field if the deer come by. This is a pretty well used trail on the edge of this and then behind me I've got this swampy area that goes back into bedding uh, out in there. So they'll either come from behind me and it's from this swamp area up in the bedding or they could cruise by um, out here in the field. So either way we may or may not see some deer tonight but um, stick around and we'll see if, uh, see if we can get an arrow in one of them. Okay, I just had another doe, <clears throat> much bigger doe than yesterday, and uh, as I'm sure you saw from the Tacticam footage, it's a pretty high angle shot, uh, she was going away from me, but uh, you know, if you do that shot correctly, it can be very lethal, of course, uh, I did hear her crash, so I'm giving her some time, and uh, possibly something else will come by in the meantime, maybe a cavity, maybe a deer, who knows, anyway. Uh, looking forward to going after this one. Sure is a beautiful night out here. <clears throat> that doe came from the brush over there and worked her way down here, right in front of me in this water. Walked along this way, came through, and right in the opening of those trees is where I shot. And I'm sure you already saw that on the tap on the tactic cam. And she ran up and away and turned right back in the thick stuff. So she's got a Luminoc in her. As you saw, the arrow stayed with her. Um, it's a high angle shot, but uh, I think we should have no problem finding her here. I'm getting ready to wrap my stuff up and head down. It's been about an hour. Okay, so I haven't found any blood yet. <clears throat> the way you're looking is back the way she came in this uh, muddy creek bed. And uh, it didn't surprise me being a high angle shot. You know, it takes a while for that blood to get down the side of the animal. Um, but I know that went straight into the vitals. So I'm um, walking along here and have to look up, go around the corner here. And um, I don't know if you can see that in the distance. That white thing in the dead center of the screen, that's the doe's belly. And you might be able to see my Luminoc there. Let's see if we can zoom in here. You can see that doe laying there. So that's good because. I hate losing animals. Let's go check it out. Because I'm always trying to teach myself to be a better hunter and a better tracker. 
chances are I'm going to backtrack this blood trail because I didn't see any blood yet. <clears throat> I'll make sure that uh, I see where she bled out, if she bled at all. There she is. Nice big doe. <clears throat> Got that high angle shot going straight into the vitals. Um, literally not seeing any blood at all. I'm sure she is full though. <laughs> when I go to uh, field dress this deer, I'm sure she's going to be full. But yeah. Really, really, really good Maryland doe. That is a great doe. Okay. Time for the work to begin. Good thing I've only got about a half mile walk out of here. Okay, hey, I appreciate y'all following along in this uh, second hunt in two days and two deer in two days. I normally am not this um, successful. And <laughs> I, just, uh, I guess I just got lucky this time. So I usually kill a couple deer a year, try to kill at least one decent buck every year. Um, but, you know, hey, nice big mature doe comes by, generally I'm going to shoot her. So, anyway, um, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. I try to keep the content coming, farm stuff, hunting stuff, car stuff, you name it. I try to have you follow along with just about everything. So, uh, again, Mount Pleasant Farm, um, there she is. Time for the work to begin. I appreciate you all watching. Take care.